If you're on the road like we were from Panama City going toward Boquete and ultimately David and you know in along the way, you might want to stop and we decided to stop in Santiago because we wanted to see what Santiago looks like and this was one of the hotels there. And it's a really nice one. Hotel Mykonos. It was 9350 per night, which uh, we'll talk about in just a second because I thought that was a bit high. But it's a really nice hotel. And it's sort of like a convention hotel, as you see. Uh, that's just my guess. Here's the check-in. And this was a little bar that they had, you know, bar and snacks or something, if you wanted to get something. <laughs> I, I never saw anybody actually eat anything there or get anything there and for the time that we were there. And this is another restaurant. This is uh, Stefano's. And this was a really nice restaurant. We had dinner there. It was pretty good. They have a restaurant and a disco also right next door to that. Um, again, fairly empty the whole time. Most people ate outside, which makes sense. You're in Panama. Going upstairs, this is where the convention part would be. And this is where they have a lot of convention type rooms, you know, meeting rooms, the, the usual stuff that you'd see in a hotel. Typical meeting room. They also had a gym. Took a walk in there, didn't use the gym, but you know, decided to obviously for the video, see what it looked like. And it had the usual stuff. It actually had more than usual stuff. But here's where you come to a hotel for the room. This is the main thing you're going to be wondering about. It was a nice hotel room. <laughs> the first thing that sort of struck me walking in, it was really cold in the room. Like they had great air conditioning. <laughs> you, know, you know, one of those big things that you'd worry about, I suppose, for Panama. Uh, but it, it was cold. Uh, easily adjustable, uh, but definitely cold. Again, nice room. It was pretty decent. And, uh, you know, had more than enough room. Typical. It was also pretty clean. It was a clean room. They definitely had pretty good maintenance here. And there was a closet that you could, uh, you know, put your stuff in. Two sides. One side had clothes. This side here. The other side had, you know, shelving and also it had a safe. So that's always good. Sometimes hotel rooms don't have safes. When you're on the road, that makes it a little iffy if you've got a lot of stuff with you. And the bathroom. Again, nice bathroom. Clean. Shower. And one of those rainfall heads. That was nice. And also uh, one that you could hold, you know, uh, and, you know, and point it anywhere you want. So let's go outside. Really pretty outside. They had a really nice pool. Viv went in the pool. She said the water was great. Uh, the bar was not working or whatever that is. Bar, snack bar outside there. There was no one there during the day. I didn't really see anyone there at night either, but um, it could have been just the day that we were there. There was a clinic way in the back there. It, was, it seemed like a bunch of medical stuff buildings, you know, just right at the edge of the, of the grass there. And at night, they light it up and it looks really nice. Right in front of Viv, the way she's walking, just to her left is that disco restaurant type uh, deal there. And uh, let's go uh, 
Right now to the restaurant itself, this is Stefano's and they're serving breakfast here at the moment. We had dinner there also. The dinner was really good and very reasonably priced. The breakfast, it left a lot to be desired. This was pretty much it. One of the good things though, they did have the pensionado discounts. They, you know, a lot of restaurants will push back on it and they don't want to give it to you. This one actually sort of volunteered it. Pros and cons. Pros, nice modern hotel, nice restaurant, great pool, typical hotel room, clean. It was English at check-in. Actually, she spoke great English, you know, that comes in handy. And it's very close to a major mall, the Santiago Mall, very close. Pretty much right next door, actually. The cons, it's not actually attached to the mall, and it says that in most of the things that you see online, but it's not attached. You have to do some walking to get to, or driving, to get to the mall itself. Uh, but, but again, it's right next door. Breakfast, boy, that was so-so. And one of the weird things was alcoholic drinks take forever. For, because if you order an alcoholic drink, wine or something, in the restaurant, they have to go next door to the discotheque to actually get it for you. Um, because of the Spanish, we couldn't really understand what was going on, actually. Um, whether we needed to go get the drink ourselves, ultimately they brought it, but it probably took at least a half an hour for the drink to come. And we have to keep asking and asking and reminding them. And lastly, uh, for me personally, I thought this hotel was overpriced given where it is because online there was a lot of hotels uh, that, well not a lot, there, there was a bunch of hotels that were 42, 45, 46 bucks, somewhere in there, essentially half the price. And yet they had great reviews also, you know, 4.5 out of 5, 4.6, 4.7. Again, not sure what they look like and they were definitely in the city. They were not out on the highway uh, where you could, you know, just drive along, go into the hotel and then leave again. But it seemed like given what it was, where it was and all of that, that this hotel maybe should have been priced at 60, $65, not $93. see us again soon.